As part of our ongoing series focused on race, today we're exploring what it's like to hate your own race. My next guest is a black man who hates his appearance so much that he is desperate to change his race. Lawrence is a 21-year-old African-American who has never been happy in his own skin. Being born black is the worst thing that's ever happened to me, and I really think it's ruined my life. When I look at black people, I honestly see, like, ugliness. I see a wide nose, big lips. I just do not like my race. Growing up was very hard for me because I didn't really identify with the black people in my community. But then on the other hand, the white people did, couldn't really identify with me. So it was, I didn't really fit in anywhere. It's almost a curse to be black and dark skinned. I think if I were white, everything would be okay. I would not hate myself and I'd feel a lot better about myself and all my problems would go away. So Lawrence, you hate yourself. Yes. Do you hate other black people too? Yes. Why do you hate black people? I think it's oppressing the black race. I think the way we as a whole carry ourselves, the way we're predicted, it's a curse to be black. It's a curse to be black. Yes. So I'm sitting here just cursed to damnation. Not you. I would consider you in an other category. I'm an other? Yes. Like me in a different category. So we're different. We're others. Yes. You say that you, you're a white man trapped in a black man's body. Yes. I often believe that. What does that mean? When I wake up in the morning, I hate what I see. I just feel I'm black on the outside, not on the, black on the outside, not on the inside. I often wish I was white on the outside as well as the inside. I never heard someone say that they're a white man trapped in a black man's body. I've heard people say that there's a woman trapped inside of me or, you know, transgender people, <laughs> but I've never heard a race thing that was trapped. Well, it's something I've been dealing with. And it's what I feel and it's a struggle day in and day out. And does your family, what does your family think about this? Um, they don't understand it. My mom and dad abandoned me, so I don't really deal with them. But my grandmother, she just doesn't understand it. But she wants to Your mom to and learn. dad abandoned you. Yes. And they're black. Could, do you have anything to do with why you don't like black people, maybe? I'm not the therapist, but ding, ding, maybe? It stems from a long history, so maybe. I'm maybe. not sure. I want to show you a mirror, and um, I want you to tell me what you feel and what you see when you look at yourself in the mirror. This is what you look at every single um, day. I see an ugly face, a Look big nose, nappy hair, just completely ugly. Do you want to be white? Yes. All right. Well, Lawrence, he said he wanted to be white. So we use the miracle of makeup to grant his wish for one day so he can see if it was everything that he thought it would be. We set up Lawrence to step into the skin of a white man, literally. Hey, Lawrence, how you doing? Hey, how are you? I'm Todd. We enlisted Todd Tucker, the makeup master who turned me into a 350-pound woman, an exotic dancer, and a man to work his magic and transform Lawrence from black to white. The white looks to me, it looks really good. It looks, I look like I'm a real person to me. I look a lot better and feel a lot better. I have so many emotions right now. It's just so overwhelming. I don't know what to say. I'm white. I'm finally white. I can't wait to walk down the street as a white guy and just finally know that people won't see me for black. I'll be white on the outside. The transformation was complete, and Lauren set off to walk a day in the shoes of a white man. I'm ready to go out and show the world the new me. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Oh, hi, how are you? I'm living in a fairy tale. I'm in Beverly Hills on Rodeo Drive. I'm white. There's nothing more that can make this dream come true for me. How are you doing, sir? Good. I can tell what people's reactions, the way they look at me, are so different. The way they perceive me, they see me as a good-looking person, white, with money, lots of class, and I'm on Rodeo Drive, so it's just so great. I just can't believe it. I feel like I own the world. Sir, how are you? Good. I know how you feel, it'll be okay. Thank you. I saw a homeless man, I saw how he felt. I mean, just a few hours ago, I was black, and I know how that feels. If I would have been a black man giving a homeless guy a couple of dollars, I think he would have just threw it down. Hi, sir. Can I pet your dog, please? Sure. Oh, thank you. He's very nice. He's very sweet. He's very sweet. I petted a dog, and I know if I was black, he would not have liked it. 
Being a white man, I know the dog didn't care, and neither did his owner. Had I been black, I don't think neither of them would have appreciated it. I've always felt white on the inside, but now it's like, I feel whole, I feel complete. I feel like Lawrence. My day's been very overwhelming. It's been good to be white, but then I know it can come to an end because this is not who I am. I feel very tormented. This is the way I want to live my life, but I just can't. I've always put white people up on a pedestal, but now that I have to take the makeup off, I feel like I'm just going to be one step down again. Even though he wasn't ready, it was time for Lawrence to take the makeup off. This feels terrible. My life is back to normal. It's over. Back to where it was earlier today. It's back to ugly old me. Being white was all I thought it would be. I had a good day for once in my life. I don't know if I'm ready to be blacking him. I don't know if I can face tomorrow. I was watching that, Lawrence, and saw that when the very end, when you were taking that final makeup off, you started to choke up. Yes. Why? Because I'll just know that I'm going back to the way things are and the norm, my normal life, misery. And you say that white people are gods. You said that. Yes, I look at them superior and <laughs> just, I just can't stand to be black. I just look at them superior and they're just God to me and they're just everything. I just hate waking up every morning. Well, we're going to talk with Lawrence a lot more about his experience as a white man. And I, I didn't think he looked like a white man, to be honest. I think Todd Tucker's an amazing makeup artist, but I don't think you looked white, but you felt white. Yes. And I want to talk about how you felt, because it seems like it's more here than here. We'll be right back.